The title of our next presentation is It Helps to be Flexible, the Roles of Cognitive and Behavioral Flexibility and Physical Activity Among Young Adults. Please welcome Scout. Physical activity offers tremendous health benefits from lowering risk for heart disease and type 2 diabetes to reducing anxiety and depression. Despite this, about half of all adults in the US fail to meet recommended levels for physical activity. So if you're not feeling a little twinge of guilt right about now, your neighbor to the left probably is. Now anyone who struggles to be physically active knows that the plans we make for exercise can be derailed by any number of barriers. Because of this, I'm interested in the role of flexibility. What happens when our plans fall through? Say you plan to go for a run outside and it starts raining. Do you throw in the towel, or do you flexibly find a new activity, like going to the gym or taking a yoga class? In my thesis, I explored two aims. First, I examined whether people with greater aptitude for mental flexibility were more likely to be flexible in their daily physical activity choices. Second, I investigated whether this daily behavioral flexibility was associated with higher levels of exercise. To measure mental flexibility, I used an assessment called task switching. Now, in task switching, we determine how much longer it takes you to respond to a task when the rules have just changed versus when the rules stay constant. Here, for example, participants would see one stimulus at a time and use the letter as a cue to respond to either color or shape. So blue, red, triangle, blue, triangle. People with greater mental flexibility are faster to respond on these trials where the rules have just switched. Our participants logged their physical activity using an online daily diary for two weeks. Each day we showed them a list of 17 common physical activities and asked them to report which activities they did and which activities they planned to do but didn't do. For each day that someone reported they planned to do something but didn't, we coded for whether or not they substituted in a new activity. Say, for example, you planned to go running but didn't, we checked to see if you did any other activity, like using the elliptical. So what did I find? First, mental flexibility plays a role in behavior choices. People with greater mental flexibility, as measured by our simple lab task, were more likely to substitute activities than people with lower mental flexibility. Second, people who substituted activities on days when their plans fell through were more physically active than people who didn't substitute. Thus, while planning for physical activity is unquestionably important, my research suggests that remaining flexible may be an undervalued component to exercise success. So my challenge to all of you is this. The next time your plans for exercise fall through, be flexible. Thank you.